George, whenever you're ready. I thought it was a really hard-fought game. I thought Maine uh, played well. I mean, we we played well at times. We had a couple of lulls in the game that really hurt us. But I I, I thought that the kids uh, stayed after it. We just couldn't get over that hump. We couldn't make that one play to get it maybe to two or three. You know, they would come down and make a play. It was a big offensive rebound. I think when we cut it to four, uh, we just couldn't make that one play to get it maybe maybe to even or or, or to two. But I, I was happy with our effort. Um, Odie, it looked like you guys uh, did a pretty good job slowing them with the zone most of the game, uh, but then at some point there in the second half, they, they, I don't know, they came up with a couple of steals, uh, kind of got them into more of a transition game. Yeah, what's, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, did uh, do you think was their ability to, to get into a little bit more of a fast pace, do you think that uh, worked to their advantage? Yeah, I mean, um, we literally handed them the ball a couple times, and they just got out on the break, got some easy layups and dunks. Um, and then the close came on the road, you can't do that. Um, we just had some unfortunate plays happen. How about you guys in terms of uh, you know try, kind of trying to attack their 2-3? You, you, you got some some good shots here and there, and you guys had some good opportunities in transition. Was was there any difficulty getting in a good rhythm as far as the offense was concerned? Honestly, I don't think the offense was that bad. Um, I mean, we got the ball exactly where we wanted to get the ball. We just simply missed our shots. Um, you know, we turned the ball over a couple times. Um, you know, on unforced turnovers. We, we, we got the ball where we wanted to get it. We just missed the shots. Um, we just got to figure out how to make more shots. Was uh, was the uh, I'm sure that playing three games in a row uh, on the West Coast was uh, pretty grueling. Were you guys all refreshed and everything, uh, or are you still any hangover with that or no? No, I mean we can't keep using you know that as an excuse. Um, that was a week ago. Um, we were fully prepared for this game. We just simply couldn't you know hit some shots and we turned the ball over uh, at the unfortunate times. Great, thank you. Coach, did they, um, did they did they make any adjustment with the, with the zone that, that helped them get get a couple of deflections there when they did kind of get into more of a transition mode? They were playing more in the passing lane, so we were, we were I think what happened was we we didn't react to that well, but but the middle was wide open, so we tried to uh, exploit the middle of the zone, which I thought we did. I, you know, we I mean, looking at the stat sheet, I mean, we took 33s, we, we were six for 30 from three, and I thought. I thought 10 or 15 of them were wide open. So, you know, you, you play zone, and, and, you know, if you don't shoot well, it's effective. You know? did, uh, did you guys uh, have any particular plan in terms of uh, defending the post? Uh, Frazier had a pretty good game, but he I mean, kept a decent handle on him. Well, we wanted to, um, we, we didn't want to give him any angles, and we, we thought we could play him one on one, and then he started to score. Second half, we wanted to help out a little bit more on him. I think we did a little better job on him in the second half. So, so from your standpoint, do you think that the, just the inability to hit some open shots maybe kind of gave them the, the advantage? Uh, just... I think there was the one stretch where we had those. I would always say we had a couple of uh, turnovers that were just on force. We just dropped the ball and, and they got runouts and you know got it got a five point game to ten and then uh, you know we weren't able to. To, to get back from the 10, you know, we'd get it to four or five, but couldn't get over the hump.